Hello, and thank you for clicking on my video. Today, we're going to talk about um, interview questions for data engineer roles. Uh, if you like my content that I produce, please subscribe. That helps me a lot. So let's get started. I'm going to do a series on these data engineer role interview questions because uh, if you watched one of my, my other videos, there are basically three data type jobs that eventually lead into AI and machine learning type jobs. The uh, lowest possible is data analyst. The one above it is data engineer. And the one that requires at least a master's degree is a data scientist. So data engineer is something you can get um, fresh out of college. If we have the right math skills, Python skills and whatnot. Again, in another video, I talk, talk about the skills that you do need to get these kind of roles. Uh, and they do pay, pay well, and there's a lot of demand for this. So today's question is, imagine, uh, so you, uh, this, is, this is a practice interview question. Imagine if you're working as a data engineer in a retail company, they have tons of data, historical data. Your job is to come up with some kind of data pipeline or processing system that will, that will yield a forecasting system for sales, right? So you're trying to figure out who is going to buy what, how much, and whatnot based on historical data. So how would you go about designing a system like that? That is the question, right? So pause the video, think about it for a while, and uh, once you're ready, unpause, and I will give you the answer. Okay, here's the answer. So um, to have something like this going, you need uh several steps in in this process right the first thing is you have to ingest the data that you already have or you might get the data in real time in addition to the data, the data that you already have right so you have to find a way to get those get that data into your system typically you can use something like kafka or aws kinesis to do that once you've ingested the data you have to store the data in some kind of data store uh, S3, Amazon S3, or MySQL, or Postgres, or some kind of DynamoDB, or NoSQL data. It depends on what kind of data it is. But you have to pick a data store or more to store your data that you just ingested. Step number three, you're going to transform the data, famously called ETL. Um, the, this process will convert the data in a format that you can process. Right, because data is never in the right format for you to process. So to do that, you can use something like Apache Spark or Glue, uh, AWS Glue to do that. Once you have your data in the right format, you have to go through uh, what's called the feature engineering. What that is basically, feature is basically like a column in an Excel sheet or a variable, right? You, in your data set, you might have 100 variables or 2000 um, columns. You can't uh, use them all. You have to figure out which variables slash columns slash features are the most important. Once you figure that out, you only use that set. It might be 30 or 20 features, features that you, you worry about in predicting the outcome. Once you've done that, then you have to evaluate some machine learning models. You can use TensorFlow or Py, uh, PyTorch or Scikit-Learn to do this. Once you've picked a two or three models, you evaluate them based on uh, their performance. So you, you have test data, you have, um, you have uh, training data, and you have test data. So in training data, the answer is given to you, given to the model, and it, when you run the model, you predict on the unknowns uh, that you all, so you know the answer, but you don't give the, the model the, the answer. It predicts and you compare, right? So that's how you, you you evaluate the performance of the model that you're trying to choose. Once you've done all that, because the model is going to give you the prediction that you're looking for. Now, you can't just do this once. You have to do this over and over again with new data and you know, whatnot, right? That's called the data pipeline. Uh, you can orchestrate this pipeline using Apache Airflow or AWS Step Function, and there are other tools as well. Once you've done that, you have to find a way to visualize the data and the outcomes and the variables and whatnot. An expensive tool for that is, is Tableau. You can also use a little, a little cheaper tool called Power BI. That I'm sure there are other tools as well. 
but you have to find a way to present your conclusion, your graphs, your data to the people who care about, typically uh, sales team or marketing team or executives, right? Once you've done all of that, these things will break, these pipelines will, will break, data will get misbehaved, um, will get messed up and your features engineering will stop working and whatnot, right? So you have to have a method for monitoring this entire pipeline and then do maintenance on them. So again, the question was, if we have a, if we work for a company that has lots of data, how would you devise a, some kind of a pipeline system that uses the data to predict future outcomes of sales? And the answer is consisting of all these steps. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please subscribe and I will see you in the next video.